हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज दीप्ति एलंकी एंड वी विल बी लुकिंग इन टू मॉड्यूल टू ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू सिविल इंजीनियरिंग दिस मोस्टली कंसिस्ट ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग सो दिस इज द सिलेबस ओके दिस इज लेक्चर वन ऑफ योर मॉड्यूल टू सो इन दिस टू पार्ट्स आर देयर वन इज योर हिस्ट्री ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड ऑल एंड द सेकेंड पार्ट इज मॉडर्न कंस्ट्रक्शन मार्वल्स सो दैट वील सी इन lecture 2 okay this is lecture 1 of module 2 in this will be uh, first looking into the history of civil engineering okay let's go to very early stage when human beings were nomads that means they used to move from one place to another in search of food mostly hunting okay early constructions and development over time so then uh, initially there was no construction they used to move around then they started developing some tools yes with the tools they started hunting and then they started storing food so they needed place to live so then they uh, settled mostly at the banks of the river then the concept of construction started villages started so then they wanted tools for construction yes so then the development of various materials for construction and methods for construction started let's see how it went neolithic construction neo means new lithic means stone new stone age so this was uh, the stage where human beings used to hunt and then the remnants of the animals like mammoths you can see here this is the mammoth a giant elephant so this uh, they used to hunt and then the bones of mammoth they used to use for construction of houses so this is mammoth bone construction this is the first very first construction by human beings this was done around 9000 bc to 5000 bc building materials that were used was stones and the ribs and the bones out of uh, the huge animals okay tools used were mostly of wooden and axes chisel stones etc first bridge which they made was putting the bamboos across the river yes even the wooden logs they used to use even now in villages and all you can see uh, some canals and all people cross using some wooden blocks or wooden logs what you say later timber trackway you can see here this is timber trackway using this they used to construct some bridges then the concept of villages started yes they started living in pit houses pit houses is something underground they used to dig and then make a house on top it of it and then stay in there above ground they used to make some tents to live in then mud houses this was about neolithic construction then came your copper age copper age and bronze age copper is a metal work okay this age was called chalcolithic age okay then the copper and bronze see copper when they added tin to uh, copper it uh, it got converted into bronze so bronze and copper were better than uh, stone obviously they could shape it give it a shape and uh, give sharp edges and all but still it was not very strong it was strong but it was not very strong yes then brass came into picture this uh, usage copper usage was from 5000 bc to 3100 bc okay copper and bronze were used in making same types of tools like axes chisels etc but these were less brittle and more durable okay than the stone then came your uh, constructions copper age and bronze age constructions the cutting edges of the tools which were used in the stone quarry rock cut architectures mostly they cut the whole rock into shapes and they used to make some nice architectures so settlement is done they have food water everything in place now they concentrated on construction side architecture art yes during the bronze age corbel arches beehive tombs were developed see this is called the corbel arches okay it it looks like this yes you can see here this is 
post and lintel you can see this this is post and lintel construction this is corbel arch triangular arch semicircular arch these are the types of arches okay then heavy loads were moved on boats on uh, or sledges or on rollers yes then egyptians began building stone temples with posts and lintels you can see these are posts and lintels uh, construction yes greeks and romans also constructed in the same pattern so we'll see in detail how each civilization came into picture and how their construction was now coming to iron age iron age iron is uh, considered to be more durable and more stronger than the metals other metals but which which um, stage of iron is uh, like which form of iron is better it is steel okay when uh, they use steel yes it is the hardened form of iron and tamper it could be tampered easily like very thin edges could be made out of it so sharpness was good precision was good yes so durability was good the hand plane which you call this we use in carpenter carpenter shops and all just for giving shape and uh, just chipping things this was um, developed in during this phase iron age construction cultural period was 1200 bc to 50 bc okay next ancient mesopotamian construction first was this mesopotamian construction smaller dwelling with foundation so concept of foundations came into picture foundations means we uh, transfer the load of the building to the underground some hard strata this is called foundation okay started being constructed with foundations later built very sizable structures like palaces temples ziggurats these are ziggurats okay you can see the type of construction all the bricks are visible yes this is called as ziggurats okay then even the sewage was developed then uh, drains were developed pavement was developed all these things came into picture pitched brick walls pitched brick walls means this is the brick wall with brick only they have made this arch like uh, construction this was also used okay the bricks were developed ma majorly during this uh, construction phase ancient mesopotamia mud bricks okay they they started using mud bricks this is also called as adobe bricks the you can see these are the molds brick molds wooden brick molds okay uh, they could be uh, uh, rectangular or square in shape okay so uh, bricks and stones were used for this pavements you can see how it is yes so they were used for pavements egyptian construction so egyptians they have developed so many things that time like lever lathe machine you can see this is the lathe machine ovens then ovens you know for bricks for uh, bricks and all uh, to make bricks after the burn bricks again uh, came the after the mud bricks burn bricks came into picture so that and other ships and paper irrigation paper means when paper came into picture then uh, construction came in construction drawings designs came into picture yes irrigation system then windows doors glass forms of uh, plaster plaster of paris what we call today bath what is bath a big hollow structure into which water was filled this is a common place where people come and take bath is called a bath okay then locks shade roofs weaving all these things came into prayer picture trusses what are trusses see this you will be requiring in further classes also trusses are you can see the shapes there are different types of trusses these are uh, structures uh, supporting structures for uh, constructions and all yes so this was also developed by them enamel veneer rope yes egyptians when we talk about egyptians the the first thing come into picture is the great pyramid of giza pyramids okay so these were um, one of the uh, largest uh, tallest structures in the world for around 3800 years so at that time what technology they had how they had constructed such a big con uh, such a big structure without 
electronic cranes and all is uh, still a mystery but yes you can uh, always go through how the construction went at that time okay ancient egyptian construction okay they use some rulers ropes sledges and all you can see how they are moving this big uh, stone structure uh, towards it they constructed a ramp and they rolled it over yes sledge on a sledge it's uh, it's uh, it's put on a sledge yes then sun baked adobe bricks uh, were used okay then uh, hot dry climate yes this they had egypt is very hot and dry so the mud bricks were ideal for the construction yes the ramesium in thebes uh, egypt or luxury what you can call uh, is the finest example of mud construction this is the one what i am talking about ramesium of thebes okay it's in egypt then uh, you have the storehouses right storehouses for storehouses for um, uh, storing food or anything else yes so storehouses were constructed using this brick walls you can see here these are brick walls next greece construction greece construction building drawings came into usage now burn bricks were used for construction yes uh, then you have already seen the oven oven has uh, come into picture so burn bricks started uh, using uh, to be used fire was there so they started uh, making burn bricks this increased the durability of the structure yes usage of trusses you can see this construction used uh, they use a truss here old greek construction then lime mortar lime mortar was there they they used a very different kind of structure in which they used some metal cramps okay two blocks are there these are two blocks here one and here one they join it with this key and in this a metal cramp was there so using metal cramp they joined two blocks okay so uh, this was uh, but this was short lived because this uh, Co corrosion was there and, and they used to mostly fall apart so later on they started using a uh, lime motor only okay then uh, you have arch bridges bridges they had uh, very greek mathematics was technically very advanced so uh, using that advanced constructions were uh, there okay then roman construction roman construction uh, you can see here use of hydraulic lime motor called roman cement was used lime motor plus volcanic ash is called pozzolana now pozzolana cement uh, cement is there you can uh, read in later uh, classes so it was also developed in rome then you have your wall construction you can see here wall construction this is lime motor construction okay roman cement then um, cavity filling all the holes and cavity filling was done using this motor the temple of vesta okay tivoli italy this is one of the oldest constru construction and it still stands so you can understand the strength of the structure then okay uh, construction was done using arch arches barrel walls and domes you can see this is a dome dome like structure domes and this is a barrel vault barrel vault means lot of arches uh, follow one after the uh, other and the look it looks like this okay it's like a hollow thing going inside so this is a kind of construction called barrel vault plumbing was introduced then glass glass they started using glasses for windows and all yes roman construction again so in this mosaic and clear glass colored glass was used this is called as mosaic you have seen mosaic flooring so lot of things are used in uh, mosaic some stones are used some places uh, glass is used colored glass is used yes depends then this is a, a water wheel yes they invented water wheel then uh, heating and ventilation thermal uh, baths were there yes uh, water used to get heated up thermal baths were there then they also had pantheon porticos this is the type of construction for main buildings some um, public gathering buildings and all this was called as pantheon portico okay and then what is this this is a sophisticated timber crane okay 
uh, this is a timber crane sorry this is a timber crane and this is water wheel okay this is water wheel so water was uh, is taken up using this okay this is your uh, timber crane okay so next let's see ancient chinese construction the great wall of china we all know this was built in 7th and 2nd century bc but it still stands strong yes it was built with the rammed earth stones wood and later bricks and tiles with the lime mortar okay you can see the chinese temples yes their construction style is completely different posts and lintels they use posts and lintels okay and then they had this open spandrel stone segmental arch bridge okay this is the pattern what he is talking about the details will be covered in later um, modules okay you just see what it looks like now thank you thank you very much for your patience listening uh, if you have any doubts do send me okay thank you very much